Welcome to the Ranger Wrap-Up. It is TGIS, and you know what that means. It means that we're here celebrating your Saturday with you. And of course, with me is my partner in crime, Mr. Dan. Oh, I'll let you do it. Go ahead. Do it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, 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 yeah go. Holla at you, boy! I it's me, the BSG. That's right, Battlestar Galactica, a.k.a. the Controversial Conversationalist, a.k.a. the Purveyor of Petty. Yes. And we are here to make sure that your Saturday starts off right, starts mm -hmm. off tight, and you get ready to get on that <laughs> flight. I don't know. But uh, let's do this and let's make starts it Starts off right, make sure it's yeah, tight. Yeah, right? <laughs> so starts off right, make sure it's all tight, and you start off on that flight. I don't know. Well, we got, we got a few <laughs> things to talk about about uh um this week oh, man, we got we got news. ranger news that came out yesterday and twitter has been blowing up but we'll get to that oh, we'll yeah. definitely get to that we actually had the opportunity to catch up on uh the go go power rangers uh comics and it did not disappoint it no did not. no it uh contrary to uh what's happening sometimes on the shows it did not disappoint. It is written amazingly, and uh, it's great. Uh, the art is beautiful. Oh, man, I can't wait. We'll, we'll, talk we'll, about prob it. we'll, talk we'll probably about next week we'll probably jump into Mighty Morphin, which will be a task. We just finished finish an arc. Just, no, they just finished an arc. They, and I, I think we'll start, you know, um, after the Forever Ranger thing yeah, so that you, they're doing. Wait, are you saying you want to skip the arc? That arc that they just finished, yeah, uh, yeah let, let, let it die because it's it's not good. Yeah. That master morpher like guy or what? Oh, yeah. won't it won't, won't it like kind of affect the next? Uh, oh no no no! Because they're doing the time jump in Mighty Morphin and in um oh, okay. Uh, okay and okay. in the other one, so this way they can have the introduction of the White Ranger in Mighty Morphin, uh, and then in Go Go we're having the introduction of the Green Ranger. Yeah. So it's Tommy on both ends. Yeah. So it's it's still gonna be a really. Yeah, I'm cool fine time. with that. So we have to wait. Yeah. We have to wait. Yes. Yeah. But I yes. I did it. I will we'll get to that in a second. I did like the Go Go Power Rangers, uh, <sighs> comics. But first, you guys, you know what today. For 12 hours only, for 12 hours only, you could hit up our T Public store and you have a chance to get your favorite t shirts on sale for 13 bucks now. Yes. That is a steal. Yes. That is amazing. I mean, we have some really amazing shirts there that a lot of people, we didn't have their sizes at PowerMorphCon and I felt bad. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, you know, it's like, oh, we have a lot of smaller sizes, but, you know, the Ranger fans are, you know, big burly men. Hey, you know, yeah, so. you know, some of you guys put on, you're like, oh, what are you doing? You know, we know <laughs> that you guys need your shirts that are going to fit over that barrel chest of yours. So I'm thinking, go ahead and get your own. Mm -hmm. You head on right over to Tee Public. you're getting a shirt for about roughly 14 bucks. And then after that, the difference you'll pay will cover for just your shipping and handling. Yeah, there you go. It'll be fine for you. And perfect. that's going to be perfect. So the price like, yeah. of what you would usually It'll be pay like for under 20 shirt. bucks, I think. Exactly. And that is a perfect, that's perfect for a custom shirt, especially oh. it's con season is like literally within a few weeks. Trust I think what's me. the what's the first first con? Um, E3 E3 is coming up, and we have mm -hmm. there's a what is it? Uh, Robo Toy Fest is coming. Oh up yeah, here in See, California. That's a great thing for like you said for E3, we have the uh, the hashtag Zelda shirt. Oh dude, that's much, my favorite. That's, which is that, that's the one I love. And it's like, like there you go, you got that for your E3. Then after that, you got all your other cons coming up, and we have themed shirts and mashups for everything else. Yeah. So you'll be able to do that, wear those, and trust me, when it comes to shirts that are good for you as far as like oh hey it's a mashup the great thing about them is their conversations yes definitely. so this way you put on a shirt you walk around somebody's like oh that's cool or blah blah or maybe you see someone looking and they're like and then you can just walk up to him and be like, or, like the shirt huh or if Check you find out. daniel you could ask for the shirt off his off back because you know? he has a tendency of just you know taking i will off the shirt. i will give a shirt off of my back <laughs> so if you can find me at a con and you ask at the right time I may give you the shirt off my back. Hey, Daniel, who do we have in the chat? Who's joining oh us for gosh, our TGIS? Oh, my gosh. We've got a lot of people in the chat right nice, now. Nice, nice. All I right, love so it. Love it. we've got um, Matt ZR, JS Roxy. Um, ha, that's smart. Uh, Thomas Franco, Blackwing 2040, Tom Craven, Layla. Um, yeah. Layla. Uh, we, got the, oh, we got the Green Arrow. I'm so sorry. That you chose that name. Um, we got, uh, <laughs> we got um, well, Mean Bean. Tatiana will talk a little bit about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm oh, yes, then. exactly. She'll yeah. catch you guys up. I'm so sorry you like that show. <laughs> um, Mikey Perez. Uh, Damn, Anthony. Uh, oh, my God. We got Matt. 
Toku. God, Toku kid. Why does Jezzer look taller, or is Daniel just slouching? My slouching. chair. These chairs are great because you know. There yeah, you go. Yeah, is that better? Is exactly. that is that better? Is that messing up your aspect? Toku? It's like that does yeah, not look Jared right Hodges, to me. We have so many people yeah. here. Well, you guys. Uh, and hey, we we'll only know if you're here if you actually do say something. So please, definitely, uh, Elisa, uh, definitely says something yeah. too. So yeah. And if you guys have uh, friends in other ranger groups or ranger groups that you're part of, share this page out because it's going to be, like I thought it was going to be a dry show, but it's actually going to be a very, oh no. a very interesting show. Oh and no. next week, uh, tentatively, we do have a special guest coming on. He is pretty big in the parent community. He is, we'll let you guys know who it is in a bit, but yeah, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. Um, so thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for joining us on your Saturday. We always appreciate it. Uh, let's 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 get started. So what did you what did you think about the Go Go Power Ranger comics um, when you started reading them? Because we, we we I to be honest I haven't really kept up after they got off that planet where they switched Ranger suits. Oh man, yeah. yeah that's and like, then I jumped uh, back into was, uh, it. I was like, that was oh, that's cool, issue, man. Was this issue seventeen? Yeah. I think when they finally got off. No, sixteen. 16. When they got off in the seventeen, we started. Being reintroduced to uh, Rita's mother, um, so I have loved every bit of this. Like uh, honestly, and Ryan Ryan Parrott's yeah. uh, whole. If you guys, run have, if you guys so haven't far, seen his interview with Ryan Parrott, it's great. It's great. Like, it's something you guys definitely a, should he watch. He seems like a really down to earth guy. He's a down to earth guy. He's an actual fan. He cares about what he writes. You know, everything that he does, it's like okay, I'm only doing this because not for a check. I'm doing this one for a check, but I'm doing this because I actually like this as far as a product, a run. I have ideas, so it's like his whole thing is always I'll approach you and say, hey, you know, my name could be in the running for writing. You know, I'm just letting you guys know. And then they're like, oh yeah, you know, we'll, we'll think about that. Here's my pitch. You know, and he he does it just like as if it was film. Yeah, if you television. watch the interview, I like I like his take. What did he say? He said something along the lines of, "There, Jason, Kimberly, or was it Jason, Billy? Jason, Billy, Kimberly. Uh, or there's three Rangers that are easy to write. Jason, Billy, and Kimberly. Yeah, uh, it's because just, it's it's really easy. You got Jason, uh, Jason, who's the leader. So a lot of things are going to end up revolving around the leader. It's just the way it works. Uh, you've got Kimberly, who is like the love interest. So it's always going to be something concerning her love life and blah, blah, et cetera, et cetera, which we saw on the show, and we do see reflected in the comic. And then you have Billy, who, hey, I'm the guy you come to when there's a problem. Makes all Tech the shit, problem, makes all their weapons. Stuff. Exactly. So it's like, great, those are easy to write for. But the people who aren't easy to write for are people that usually we don't focus on enough, which is Zach, which is Trini. Yeah. So he chooses to focus on them and show how easy it is to also write for them and it's so have good. you have you noticed with with these comics that <coughs> they do seem to downplay jason a lot in the, in the yes comics. they do they downplay him a lot to the point where i love the i love the dynamic between him and trini because it's oh, like especially like dude. it's like how many times three times within the the comics where they're they're having a conversation with us the themselves and they're having like this little tryst this little uh, -huh. uh you know uh in romance within within the team that they don't it. that they don't want to for some what, uh, what's the, what do you think the reason behind them not wanting to announce it to their team think about it you happen to work with people blah 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 etc cetera, et cetera. let's say um well, let me see uh in hashtag cast let's say me and um uh uh green arrow let's say me and tatiana are dating right mm -hmm. if i am dating tatiana and then everyone knows about it mm -hmm. what's going to happen to me Everyone's gonna we're we're TV fourteen right now. Everyone's gonna give me shit. So <laughs> we're TV fourteen. I don't know, close enough. When Joe's uh, on there, we're uh, like TV uh, MA. Well, yeah, no, I know, but I'm uh, TV yeah, okay, fourteen. Okay. Netflix, TV fourteen, cool. They let you say shit. Yeah. So, uh, well, you know, everyone gives a shit. Uh, they would be like, oh, oh look at YouTube, blah, blah blah. Oh, are they sitting next to each other? Are they doing this? Are you blah blah? It becomes a distraction. Okay. And the thing is, you don't need that distraction in the time of ethic that you guys have. Yeah. Especially where you guys are here as a team. We don't want fighting everyone. monsters. Yes. You don't want it where you're fighting and someone can always look and just take anything and uh, almost like turn it on its head and say, oh, you only did that because, you only did that because, right. blah, blah. So let's keep all of that away. Yeah. And let's just keep it quiet. Let's keep it between us. We don't need everyone else to know. Mm -hmm. And that makes sense. Uh, and uh, honestly, I, I, shoot, if that ever happened, I, I definitely would just keep it quiet. I'm like, what do you guys have? <laughs> Until somebody says something yeah. and everyone knows. But you, you do notice with Trainee and Jason's relationship is that, yeah, they downplay Jason's character a lot. Like, he's not that, that, you know, leader, that masculine dude. Like he's Actually, just like yeah. he kind of he kind of just takes like the you know 
the passenger seat to Trini and he what does. she wants. Well, the thing is, and I think they highlighted Trini in a way that really makes us have to re like revisit what we understood or knew about Trini. She is a military brat. Mm-hmm. Um, she has to be accustomed to moving, changing, and adapting everywhere she goes. In yeah. issue 15, because that's why I said, hey, let's go back to 15 and then yeah, go yeah. all the way to 20. Um, because um, when you're reading it, you see in 15, issue 15, she has a friend who we first meet for a second. And then after that, we don't see him again. And then she uses him as the uh, explanation for why, why she she's doesn't so fall afraid. In love yeah, okay. And blah, blah, and why I don't connect to people because I'm always moving. I'm always leaving. So the thing is, she tends to keep herself almost, um, she compartmentalizes her emotions and keeps herself separated from almost everything yeah. in that way. It's great for that kind of person to sometimes step to the forefront of the leader mm-hmm. because they'll be able to be like, all right, this is what we're doing tactically. And also, you know, since she's a military brat, she has some training. Yeah. That's just the way she is. Uh, so it's just very focused on making the team better. Yeah. And Jason, even though he is the leader, Jason is distracted right now. Mm-hmm. He's got issues with right now his dad. His dad is sick, and his dad is uh, pretty much like they haven't sick really they haven't died. really addressed it in, no. these, in these last issues. No, they it's did. They did they... earlier, and it was like now that we've got it, now you know what's going on. Yeah. So now Jason pretty much plays second fiddle, Trini. Yes, I think because I understand Trini a lot because I also was a military brat, and I understand. I think. It does, it honestly does affect the way that you look at certain relationships and certain things because you're always under the impression that y- within two to three years you're going to be gone again. Yeah. So, so laying, down, laying down your roots or laying down foundation for Ooh. like a relationship that's serious or whatever you think it is. I mean, it's high school. I mean, it could be serious. Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not down, I'm not downplaying high no, school. No, no, but you, you essentially were a military brat, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, do you kind of feel that connection as far as how they've written Trina? Uh, Trina. Trina. Yeah, Trina. <laughs> no, she's, yeah. she's, she's not the queen of the South. Or queen, <laughs> queen of Florida. She's not the queen of Florida. Not 305 Trina. Uh, but Trini, uh, do you ever yeah, do you feel yeah. that connection? Do you feel like, That's, man, that was kind of accurate. That really I Honestly, with honestly I, I feel like in my high school years, it, I missed out on a lot of relationships because I was so hesitant to jump, fully jump on. Oh, wow. Because I was like, you know what? I feel like I was under the impression I'm always going to be on the move. I'm going to move again. What's the point in like investing so much time into something like that? And so I understand where she's coming from. I understand where why she so she was so hesitant about it. But in their case, mm-hmm. they they've been in, in each other's minds. So yeah. so this I think that whole situation where they're on the planet kind of escalated their like their relationship a little bit it because is. they kind of it's like taking a shortcut a little bit it is it's it, it's a level of uh it's an understanding of uh now this is more like question player too i know but uh <laughs> I'm thing, sorry. but no but it is it is a big plot point in, in within the series it is. it's that whole idea like i say of intimacy is like the three tenements which is being seen being heard being valued mm-hmm. and the thing is when you don't really have to have those big conversations because you're mind linked and you've got all that information rushing to you at once, now you know so much about them, there's a level of intimacy that they've skipped and now have got to. So yeah. they're really close. Yes. They're really close. So it just kind of makes sense where it's like, yeah, they would kind of solidify their relationship and now it's an actual thing. Yeah. And it was like, it's great to see. Yeah. And uh, it's funny think- still nonetheless <laughs> that he chooses to take uh, the more submissive and role in their relationship and just like and Trini's just like alright this is what's happening but you, what you, you understand that as a man like sometimes I do. sometimes like it's it's not worth the effort to even try to it isn't sometimes you know because the thing is it's, it's like, being a smarter Trini, guy it is it's being it a smarter is. guy because why do you want to fight you no. know I don't want to fight especially hey, if it's not going important alright fine <laughs> that's cool I don't care and Jason at least figured that part out yeah. and that's interesting and I wonder what the dynamic was for Jason at home that he even saw to understand to have that mirroring I, I, I didn't get to read a lot yeah. of the comics before. Well, they don't. They don't really. It, they, do they? Do they touch on his mother? They don't. They don't. They don't. Not really. Because I'm, I'm kind of like seeing that he has a very strong relationship with his mother, as like he does with his dad, yeah. to the point where he's, he gets the understanding and everything from her. Yeah. So I See, feel like they, that. They that's what. That's what. I, yeah. That's what I'm kind of getting from their relationship there. Uh-huh. And do you think Kim? Kim knows. She. She knows. Kimberly has walked in on them at least from 15 to 20. Uh, she's walked in times. on him three times. Three times. And every time, 
She's like, by the last time she walks in on him, she just goes, look, I don't know whatever weirdness you're doing. I've got to do something. And I was like, she's like, I don't care. I, don't I, don't, care. I honestly I don't, don't care. care. Like, I, and I think by that point, everyone else knows too. Yeah, yeah. And they're just like, look, we're going to respect that you guys aren't talking about it, so we're not going to talk. Yeah. About it. And I think that's also because Trini, the way she is, it's like they talk about Trini, like, is that your business? No, no, it's not. Good. You know, you're like, all right, Trini, I'm sorry. <laughs> another another plot point that we, another plot that we get from the, the this arc is mm -hmm. we get to see the relationship between Rita and her mother. Dude. Dude, and this goes to exactly Polar what Black Link's Polar saying opposite, right yeah. now. Yeah, where he's like, I love how the comics dive deeper into the show. They give us more of the mythos mm -hmm. of everything. Because these are questions that really, if you want to know a character, these are questions that you have. Exactly. And they are answering them bit by bit. Rita and her mom? Dude, that is huge. And it makes sense, too. The aesthetic of the look of her mom and what, what, Rita, what Rita turned into in Mystic Force. Yep. Yep. She turned into it's, her it, mother. She turned into her mother. She turned into but her mother. the thing mom. is, and that's weird because she starts off, as far as when we see her, she starts off as her father. Yeah. She starts off as uh, just a kind of uh, an, an addition or kind of like an homage to Vile. I didn't think about it, but my daughter pointed it out. Vile, three heads, right? Mm -hmm. Rita, when she becomes evil, two horns mm -hmm. and then her face. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, it's three heads. Yeah. It's still that whole thing. Her Were you reading with your daughter? Yeah. Yeah. I was just going over it and I was, reading, I was like, oh my god, like, check this out. And then yeah, it was like, and yeah, the, Black Panther, she has the dragon shield. So yep, that's, yeah, that's where the yeah, power that's where she got so the, the, yep. So we're getting to see that the power wasn't necessarily made in evil. Exactly. It was, its m intention was to be good. To be good. I, dude, and still, I know we talked about it before when the issue first came out, but. Zordon has known Rita since she mm -hmm. was a kid, mm -hmm. which now gives us a better understanding for why Zordon has never said, let's just go to the moon and kill them. Yeah. Which, unfortunately, we did way back, um, way back in um, like issues of Go-Go, where we found out there was an original team. Yeah. Zordon sent them to the moon, and they died. Yes. And, and that's also kind of part of the reason where he's like, yeah, let's not just go ahead and attack the villains. He, he's, them he's, he's learned his ways, and he, without... Telling the Rangers that he has a history with Rita, he's he's playing he's playing this part as far as like gotta protect the planet, but I still see redemption in Rita. Exactly, in some form. and that's something that we kind of do see, and her mother definitely sees it. Yeah, definitely. her mother sees it in so many ways. She says like, "Look at you. Who are you? I don't know you." And it's like, and then Rita says something very interesting to me, where she says that her mother, uh, she says, "You took me from my father." You tr you hid from me the secrets that he chose to reveal, yeah. which is that uh, not everything's good. Things are evil, and um, in her mind, I guess she feels that things are inherently evil. Yeah. Um, and that, uh, of course, you can see that as a lie. Um, and this mirrors a lot of like uh, young adults' uh, relationships yes. now with their parents that are divorced or mm -hmm. not together. Yeah. There is it, there's a big there's a big tug of war between between two parents since they both have different perspectives on yeah. how they see a certain relationship, how they see how to raise their child that when you're stuck in between that, your mind gets all all, all messed up a little bit and you're you're constantly trying to fight for either one's affection or try to fight for either one's attention. And that's where it becomes interesting because the situation that Rita went through slightly mirrors what Kimberly's going through right now. In the yes. Comments, where Kim and her parents are being divorced and she is still we don't they don't say it but we're seeing that yeah. this is Kim trying to figure out who she's going to stay with. Yeah. See, and the whole honestly, thing about whole this situation. is what I love about the and comics. Just, it's so It's good. like you can really just dissect like so many different things that, subtle things that they're placing in there. One page. It's one page. One page. And then it makes you think about certain things. Yes. It's just like, all it's right, like, it's Hasbro, so Hasbro, take note. This is how you write a story. And exactly. they're trying. They're trying. They are. Let's, let's they not, are. let's not, you know, let's not, you know, denounce what they're trying to do here. But yes, Man. little things like that. As things like also another one of the huge point uh, points is the introduction introduction of Alpha One. Alpha One is jump, he Full is jump. badass. Well, so badass. He's Alpha a badass. So badass. He is so cool. <laughs> like honestly, 
even though we know what happens with them, we understand why it, we understand why that happens. Dude, yeah, but the thing is, with Alpha One, um, one thing he does mention is that uh, he was created for battle, for mm-hmm. protection, for Zordon, and that's what his goal is. Yeah. And when we see him for the first time, he seems menacing. Mm-hmm. He seems kind of. He's got. He's got like a sinister. dinosaur little teeth. Yeah, like, well, dude, like his like, face. It's a skull inside of a bowl. Yeah. Last time I've ever checked. If I see a skull inside of a bowl... That's scary shit. It, it's scary, and it automatically says, you're evil. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, And he was like, oh, no, I'm Alpha One. Blah, blah, yada, yada. Finally, he gets to meet up with Zordon, and still, he's like, no, he's a friend. It's okay. And I'm like, Zordon, do you know what's going on? Do you realize what you made? He's evil, man. <laughs> like, no, I don't, I don't necessarily think that he's evil. I think he's a product of his situation. Ooh. I think that um, Alpha One is a representation of... Um, Zordon's ideals when he first started. Mm-hmm. So uh, another, another, yeah, another cool thing is they brought back Mask Rider's uh, uh, Planet of Enoi. Dude, and then the wizard, though, yeah, what's his name? that uh, actually uh, made that, Alpha One. That was so, so dope. The, the the whole point of making Alpha One is to have him be like a guardian or yes. like a protector for Zordon. You know, like a like a like a bodyguard. So Which much. is dope, and yeah. I, I love it. And but. When he starts getting there and he starts sowing the seeds of dissension, uh-huh. it's kind of weird. Because first he stands there and he's like, where Zach was upset, where, um, oh, you know, Zordon didn't agree with me in my opinion, or he didn't, yeah, and yeah. Then Billy too, and he was like, look, Zordon's here to make sure that things are good and blah, blah, blah protect, blah, blah, blah. And then later he had a conversation with Alpha 5 and he's like, we're here to protect Zordon. Yes. Whatever Zordon's agenda is, we agree it's... with it and we must work for it. And I was like, oh, okay, this is good. He's backing Zordon every time he gets. And then here comes the turnaround. He's like, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't <laughs> necessarily think that he, his intent was, like, I, honestly, I think Alpha One does care about the Rangers. Yes. I think he wants them to see a, the certain light and he wants them to see kind of his way because he understands that oh at the at the beginning Zordon had sent him to um to the moon and he got killed or at least Zordon thought he got killed. Right. So I think that it's um I don't necessarily think he's totally evil. I think he's just misguided. Well, I, I definitely misspoke because he's not evil. You're right. Yeah. You're right. He's uh not even misguided, it's it's if we were to put he it in terms, goal, yeah, he sees a goal and he becomes almost fanatical yeah. concerning that goal, which is we have to end evil. That is what I was created for. I'm created to defend Zordon and end evil. Sometimes, to an extent, it goes so far as I have to sometimes even protect Zordon from himself. Mm-hmm. And that's where it's like, okay, it's like a that's professor, where you stop. professor X Magneto type thing. Yes, or, well, or Martin Perry, Luther you, King. You no, know, you heard what Ryan Parrott said about it. What? He said uh, when. He mentioned uh, on by issue 19, um, he said, well, really, Alpha 5 and Zordon, it's an ethic or relationship like God and uh, Satan or uh-huh. Lucifer because Lucifer was his number one. Lucifer's here and he says, okay, you know, this is what I do and I'm, I'm there for Ooh. you, blah, blah. And then Lucifer starts to see, hey, you know what? You're not doing everything exactly the way I think you should yes. do it. And Lucifer says, I can do it better. Yeah, Lucifer, and then we get was, in issue 20, Lucifer was God's number one. Exactly. Angel. And that's why it's Alpha One. Yes. And I was like, yo, Ryan Parrott is on point for this. Jesus. Like, dude, this is Jesus. so good. It's so good. It's honestly, it's really good. <coughs> and I like the I like the fact that uh, Rita's minions are attacking the source or attacking the yeah. Rangers at their most vulnerable. Dude, oh my god, it's before, what do they call it, what's that day? It's a, they call it like a rival day or whatever? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like a big day, you know? For power. Oh, super chat. we got a super chat from the Green Arrow. He says, will the comics rewrite the power transfer? Ooh, Ooh that is tough. That's It's going to be, we're going to mm. have to wait and see on that. Yeah, I know now. Thank I mean, you, right thank now, you, Green Arrow, for that super chat. That's if a good you question, guys dude. saw what just happened, uh, Green Arrow hit that super chat button. It's that little S button at the bottom of your chat. Uh, chat room uh, bar and it helps support the show it helps highlight your uh, your comment because we have a few people in here and it's just going and we are exactly. our, our chat our chat uh, window it only holds so many so exactly. if you guys feel inclined hit that super chat button it'll highlight your question we can address your question or your comment immediately and yeah it just helps it helps your show so thank you so much the green arm <laughs> Toku, said, Toku says well if uh, Alpha 1 is Lucifer and Zordon is God who's Dean and Stan 
<laughs> and Sam. Hey, Toku, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. Uh-huh. That's the answer right there. <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, I, I love how the comic just, it has the opportunity to highlight certain things that we as fans always point out when you watch the show. But like, I would, I do want to see if they do attack, uh, uh, approach the uh, power transfer, um, just to see how, because most likely if Ryan's still writing at this point, he's going to delve into what the Rangers are thinking at that moment and how they actually what feel we actually... about like, I'm leaving, I've done so much, I love it. and I'm leaving, it. and it's going to be that whole thing where it's like, now we get to get that kind of the psychological yeah. kind of feel. Instead of, instead of it just like, like just yes. like, hey, you're going to the to the conference. And they're like, yeah, I'm so happy like, to go. Now, like, that, now I'm going to no, leave you. No, I don't you. want to go. Yeah. Oh, we have another <laughs> super chat from Brent Darby all the way from mm. the UK. He says, Alpha One was built for the time, not for the present. That is very true. Um, because Alpha, Alpha uh, was built at a time where um, uh, Lord Vi- uh, Vile was kind of taking over everything, almost like destroying planets and things like that. And it was a time of literal war, not a time of defense. So the thing is, you created a, um, a machine that was ready to fight, ready to actually go into or participate in war. Um, Alpha Alpha Five is created in a way where it's like it's more. I'm tactical. Oh, I think about things. Clear. I take my time, and let's try to resolve the issue without violence. We have so. another super chat from Toku Kid. I would want either new history or new perspective. I want new perspective. I want new perspective uh, because the history, it's already been written. Yes. But the thing is, there are perspectives that we haven't seen. Yes. And that's what we're getting here in the comic. We're getting this view where it's like, oh, dang, I didn't think about that. Man, that's interesting. And they're still rolling with the timeline that we're already aware yeah, of. Yeah, I want to see them at the conference. I want to see oh. them. Honestly, I want to see, I also want to see Kimberly at that little... Uh, uh, gymnastics thing. Oh yeah, I like, want to see her go through that whole yeah. thing too. There's so many. There's so many oh, different man. stories where they just barely touched. Maybe we'll see later on after that dear John letter that she sent out to Tommy. It's like, who is this guy? Who is that person? Yeah, I don't right. Know. Well, maybe we'll see the guy. Yeah, well, maybe. Right, oh, what well, if? It, yeah, what's what's the guy from Go? In the comic, they did do the whole dear John letter, but still, we didn't get to. Yeah, but it would be interesting if now. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know because now it's after Shattered Grid. Some things have changed. So they're going to have to address the Dear John letter again, mm-hmm. probably, and it's going to be in a different way. Man. So all in all, lot. like, all in all, like, I know we don't do, like, a full comic uh, review for every week, but I feel like doing it in, 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 chunks, like in this. chunks like this, it's just, it's so much. It's, it, it's, it's filling. It's, it's really good. Just covering an arc. We'll wait for the arc to get completed, and then we'll just cover it yeah. that way. Because I, I honestly, honestly don't think the arc is even completed. Well, no, it's not. Um, we have... Um, Forever Ranger uh, that's coming up, which is kind of like an annual. It's going to be 48 pages oh, worth. I love annuals. 48 pages worth. Annuals and is just like, you know. That's pretty much where that arc is going to end. Nice. And I, like, if you think about it, call this arc the the Alpha the Alpha 1 arc. Yep. That's pretty much what we're doing. We did our color swap arc. The Alpha 1, the pre-Green one Ranger arc. Exactly. Which is and something then, that, we're going to get two different Green remember, Rangers. Then after that, we're going through a time jump. Uh-huh. We're gonna do a time skip, and then we're gonna get into our Green Ranger and White Ranger, mm-hmm. and they're all gonna connect too. So it's gonna be a thing. God, dude, this is so crazy. <laughs> we have another super chat from Bryn Darby, who says new perspective but more depth. Uh, maybe fill gaps. That's, that's exactly, exactly what yes. Yeah, that's that, exactly that's, what it is. Th- that's what this comic delivers. Guys, honestly. if you guys are not reading it. Now is the time to jump on. Yeah, I mean, um, we're in a hiatus a right yes. now. It's, it's like perfect. you want something. You want something to kind of um, feed off of. And this is really something to feed off of. It's just like how Star Wars did it. I said, it's an interview. It's just like how Star Wars, when the film was over, um, people still wanted more EU? to kind of take EU? in. Yeah, and then here comes the EU. And it just kind of, people are able to read and build on, and it becomes part of canon. And that's exactly what we're getting here. I love They're it. They're just giving us that more, giving us a more in-depth perspective. So I, I definitely agree with you. Uh, that's exactly what we're getting here in a comic. Guys, please pick it up, read it. You will love it. Yep. Uh, Green Arrow says, Joe's article on Dino Thunder, Black... Black Book Strikes. Yes, Ooh. we'll get to that yeah. in a little bit. Yeah. But first off, um, Daniel, how are, how are you liking the the steps or the path that Hasbro is taking with this new with the new revitalized Power Rangers? Um, all right. As far as the show or also show everything, toys? everything okay. in general. Everything right you now, have the show. There, you have the comics. Right. You have the tour. Uh, that live mm, tour. That's right. We have. 
Possibly more movies. Possibly. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see how good everyone uh, is as far as uh, receiving oh. of the show. Toku is like, Toku show is well, like what, is, well. what is Black Book Strikes? It is this this thing. There you go. This thing, <laughs> honestly, if we were to sell this to a Ranger Dude, fan. Right now, it would be worth. It yes. would be a good amount. It would be worth. And you know, we that's just. You'd probably get a good, a good three, four hundred dollars. That's just something that here at that hashtag show, at that hashtag show.com, we can deliver. That's right. We are creating the Power Ranger news. We are. It's well, like uh, we're not even creating it. The news is already created. What we're doing is giving you more perspective. Yes. Giving you in-depth perspective yes. on it. That's a little more. I know. I know. There's people like when we first released the few, the the red, the Austin Austin St. John stuff. So <sighs> many haters. So many haters. haters. But the freaking most amazing, not amazing thing, the most like ironic or funny thing is when this news came out that we that Joe released on 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 uh, Thursday or Friday yeah yeah no no one's questioning they're just mad no yes they're just yeah. mad yeah and, but and then mad at us like we didn't do anything uh, <laughs> uh, I super chat and sort of cast as expects I expect spoilers <laughs> I super chat and sort of cast I expect no you're not sort of cast you definitely you're are cast. cast Toku yeah but he also <laughs> super chats well, so he's like make, I expect spoilers hey if you make I super it down, chat also you know where we're at right now why don't you exactly. take a little drive down here Come on and you down. can read this little <laughs> book um, but yeah it's it's funny so I was I was watching some other outlet that decided that they wanted to jump on Power Ranger news. Man, and oh they man, are scra- honestly scraping at the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, right? Here is here is this Power Ranger cosplay, and it just looks like crap. <gasps> I was like, oh, what? I don't know what I'm talking about. And I was like, this is what you you oh, are a huge company. Wow. This is what you want to report on. Wow, I was like, this you know crappy what? Power Ranger. Go back to the shadows. You guys are getting upset. Just stop. Just stop. Sudden, stick to what you got. It's like, stick to what we but that's got. The thing they always do that though. Every time when we do something and we break something and we know it's big and we break it, we sit and we wait for a second. Screen Rant, of course, they're partnered with us, so they'll talk about it. Then ComicBook.com talks about it, and then after that. Here comes Entertainment Weekly. Immediately, <laughs> Entertainment Weekly is like, "Hey, you know what that hashtag said?" Because they like us and they know that we, we know, we, we yeah. know that we're accurate. The book. Once Entertainment Weekly does it, then this larger kind of outlet always says, "Oh, Power Ranger news is big again. Let's talk about yeah. it too." And they always mess up. Yeah. And then anytime we do any story. Even if it's not Power Rangers related, blah, 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 they do the same thing. They're like, we don't want to report on that story because Hashtag did it. Let's talk about something in that realm. <laughs> and you're always like, why are you doing this? He's like, what? Stop. You can't pick and choose. Yeah. You can't pick and choose. But well, regardless, regardless. Do what you got to do, what you gotta do to stay, <laughs> stay relevant, I guess, or stay oh, relevant man. within but the so community. But Hasbro is doing a great job. Um, I think right now they – first, I was afraid. I was worried. I thought they don't know what they're doing because they're taking too long to do stuff. But no, actually, they proved me wrong. Because they took their time, they were making sure they took their time to put out what we wanted properly. Yes. Um, they put out the show, and um, we got to see it. We were kind of at odds and moments concerning either um, acting um, or just how delivery of lines were, blah, blah, blah. But it was all for a reason. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's helping to build the character the way we understand yeah. them. And mm-hmm. then after that, they were like, hey, guys, um, here go the toys. We got our lightning figures and... Can we talk about those figures? Yes! Let, yes. let us talk about these <laughs> figures. I, I Let me see if I can find it. I retweeted somebody. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm not going to say their name because that's just messed up. But I retweeted somebody that was complaining, whining their ass off about uh. the Power Ranger figures. This guy. And he's like literally little things. I, I honestly can't see anything. Wait, I what is this complaint? He's the little smudges or little marks. You know what? You oh, guys, the accuracy. You guys. I'm going to say I'm gonna say two words that sometimes people say are compacted into one. Mass production. Yeah. This is what happens when you make more than 40 of a toy. Yeah. <laughs> when you make more than 40 of a toy. At you have a to price put point. On, exactly. You have to put on an assembly line and the machines are going to get it done for you. And they're doing it quick. Sometimes some things are not going to be perfect. And that's just the way it is. But the thing is, I know people are purchasing them, expecting them to be really great. You gave me a name for the line. You called it the lightning, you know, the lightning yeah. figures, blah, blah. And that's supposed to mean like, that's almost like how you guys at Hasbro release stuff for Star Wars and you call them the Black Series. And it was like, the sculpts are amazing. The paint is perfect. And this and that. 
I don't recall them promoting the Lightning series and saying the sculpts are perfect, the painting is going to be above par than anything you've had before, blah, blah. What their whole point was, the articulation, the points and movements, being able to take off heads, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Things, we were trying to make sure we do things the fans said they wanted. Yeah. So that's what they did. But Yet! <laughs> Twitter. I, oh. I, I regret, okay, listen, I regret following certain Ranger uh, fans, or Ranger people on Twitter because <laughs> it just infuriates me. Oh, yeah, we've got a super chat. <laughs> Toku Kid says, you clearly love Hasbro and writers. Uh, real writers are biased. Uh, writers, we know. Biased. If you, like, yeah, there are people you that know, hit me up on Twitter. You, know you guys them. are Hasbro, Hasbro little minions. No, if you know us, <laughs> you know that we've been shitting on the fandom or shitting on, 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 on Power on, Rangers like, for a while until really, they got it right. We still are not happy with Robbie, yeah. and we all want Robbie to move. <laughs> Robbie is a fuck are, boy. Honestly, we don't like him, and we want Robbie <laughs> not to be on the show. People get upset. <laughs> No. Us for it all the time. You and guys. hey, you know what? That's our opinion. You come here because we are sharing our opinion. Yeah. So our opinion. this is what we're going to do. Uh, let, before I keep <laughs> talking, my, my comments are mine and mine alone and do not reflect anything or what the, the yeah, hashtag shows that us. Hashtag show. That's right. Same with but, Daniel. Exactly. <laughs> but we're here to go ahead and share our opinions on a show for that hashtag show. So let so me get back into it. Yes. There's this, he just started, like, people blowing me up on Twitter oh me about God. complaining about figures. Twenty dollars, twenty dollars, you guys. I don't collect uh, a lot of toys, but I saw these at the price point. At, I at the price point of twenty dollars. I saw yes. the I saw the quality of them, and I was like, you know what? This is great. This is awesome. These oh, rangers. I said Ravi. I'm sorry, yeah. Robbie. <laughs> these these rangers don't look like steroided Power Rangers that Bandai gave us. No. They no. look screen accurate. Yep. The articulation is on point. Yep. And you're complaining about a little smudge. Here, do, do yourself a little favor. Go to a little hobby store, get some paint, and fix it your damn self. There you go. You there know you what? Go. Twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars. Stop complaining. I mean, don't say you're trying to purchase it and make it so it's a collector collectible item. It's twenty dollars and they mass produced it. It's not going to be a collector's item because someone else can get it at any time. Yeah, it's it's crazy. But we we I have been seeing a lot of this on Ranger groups. Uh, Lightning collection wish list. Now I, I I'm already I. <laughs> Jez are being edgy. <laughs> I'm already like super excited with what we got. I love the Shadow Ranger. I can't wait for the Magna Defender because the Magna Defender is dope. Ooh. Honestly, one of my favorites. But we do have, we each have picked, we, not a certain amount, but we just picked some random, yeah, picked some yeah. things on like... Our wish list. Yeah, our wish list <laughs> of what we want mm -hmm. to come out of the Lightning Collection. Daniel, what's your first one, buddy? All right, my first one, let's, since, you know, Alpha 1 was a big thing. Okay. Uh, let's talk about what I want to see. I am definitely looking for Alpha 5. Ay, 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 ay. Now, think about it. We get an Alpha 5 figure. Yes. It's going to be that gold finish on the top. Yes. And then on the shoulders, the hands, and all the parts. Yes. And then that's cool. But the thing is, most of the Lightning figures come with, like, um, a sword or blah, blah, yada, yada. Alpha doesn't have any of that. Yeah. So, what Alpha can get instead would be a kind of a tube. And that tube would have a sword on it. Yeah. You know, maybe just like a hologram sword on. You can move left and right, blah, blah. But there you go. And then, if you want to, you can have another character. I'm going to have to go into this one. Oh. Because uh, another character that you could make um, would be uh, one an OG Ranger. Uh, I know uh, that's not, ooh, ah, that's not special. But I would love a treaty. Yes. I would love a Trini character. And this Trini character can come with, instead of, I know she had her weapons and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Sure, give her the weapons. But why not start doing that whole thing where you build a, a, a set? Or okay, like okay, that. okay. So then also give her some of the command center that circles around Zordon. So now we have Zordon and we have her. Holy crap, are you... <laughs> are you are you saying what I think you're saying? Have you? I had the, the command center. Yeah, I know. The one with the I know, little man, mirror the little thing. Man, yeah. Man, oh same, my god, man. I had Bring that. Bring it back. Damn. It. Bring it back, and that would be a great way to do it. Fuck yeah, that would be so cool. So those are just two of mine right now. Yeah, because uh, we, we with the lightning collection, <laughs> we haven't we haven't had like. Uh, Zor builders or character builders yet. Exactly. That's that's something they could easily implement. I exactly. think. Exactly. So trainee and alpha. That's two great mm -hmm. ones. Let me let me throw one down. I want um, Cam the Green Ninja Storm Ooh, Ranger. Dude. He looks cool. Not only the color is cool, green's dope, but 
if you guys remember in the series, he had like two different modes where his head his head change and his his suit change. So that would be cool to have. Another one I would love. Man. I'm pretty biased on this one only because I love him so much, and that would be the Blue Centurion because he is awesome. He's so cool. Like he, like honestly, his character was funny. He was just like he was just a jokey character. And remember like that one episode where they had where Ashley made the. Uh, the the, bla- the little blazers for everybody and it made them evil or something. I, that'd be a cool attachment. Like, put the blazer on, the on blazer them. Yes, dude. Oh, man. That's actually pretty interesting. Yeah. When Darby says, why not do uh, the Trini? But uh, the thing is, besides just the regular suit head, you have it where you can actually swap out between Trini ah, and Aisha. Ah, that's cool. And it's like, hey, you get yeah. two toys. You know, the, you know the, that's not bad the either, Ironmonger, man. or not, what's Eric Ironmonger, uh, Hasbro figure? Uh-huh. Yeah, it yeah. had the build build a zord but for uh umbaku so you could put oh um, yeah you could, huh? killmonger, killmonger. killmonger all right well, i said iron monger, my bad killmonger where you could put umbaku's head on, on uh, uh oh. killmonger's head on yeah, killmonger's like, body he's like, body, yeah. he's like oh i got i got a killmonger and i have a umba- killmonger freaking iron monger no no killmonger's right <laughs> killmonger uh, yeah. yeah and then uh umbaku and <laughs> what's your next one that's it that's pretty smart my next one guys if I don't say this, I'm going to feel like a horrible person. When you think of people that showed up and weren't the Six Ranger, but definitely helped the Rangers, there's one that everyone thinks of. It's one that, uh, if you guys watch the Retro Ranger wrap-up, it's the one that, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry, L hates. Uh, what? <laughs> but I love him. L does not like him at all. And uh, it's going to have to be the one and only Ninja. Uh-huh. Wait, what does Elle not like about him? Uh-huh. I don't know. I think she hates that I do the voice so much, but she loves the voice at the same time. But she's like, no, I just don't like him. She felt that he did nothing. Uh, she was like, it was annoying how he'd show up. But I was like, no, no, no. Because later after him, there's that other dude that shows up who, like, he always shows up and then he gets pushed. And he goes, oh, I've got to go. And he disappears. And it's Who's like, that? I forgot that dude. He's, um, he has, like, horns and... He has like kind of like looks like Ninja. We're on his we're on his episodes right now too. He's on, um, on Zio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, or he's on Orc? Zio. Orc. Orc. That's it. We've seen him three times so far. All three times. He shows up, somebody pushes or punches him quick, and he's and he did but he leaves. <laughs> we're like, why are you even here, dude? <laughs> but no, Ninja, man. Ninja. I would love to see Ninja. That would be a cool sculpt. And I would love to see it. Um, I, I need a ninja in my life. Uh, we got another super chat from the Green Arrow. Thank <coughs> you so much. Do you think Hasbro will make some exclusive figures for some of their sponsored cons or Power Morph Con? I would like a Blue Centurion in my wish list. That's, wish interesting. List. Uh, That's interesting. Honestly, hmm. that, that Lord Draken one had a bunch of controversy with it. That's true. Yeah, That's it's true. very dangerous and it's very That's expensive true. to get an exclusive. Yeah, but I mean, I'm, I'm not... I wouldn't be surprised because Hasbro does do that a lot for do. Star Wars and yeah, they and um, Transformers. Yeah, that's right. Whole bunch. So, so yeah, I, mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised, and I would definitely look forward to it. Mm-hmm. I won't say expect it, um, mm-hmm. but I look forward to something like that happening, mm-hmm. possibly for a con. Um, but it may be a little bit different than how they did with Lord Dragon. Yeah. Um, because Toki says I want a pudgy pig. I have a pu- I have a pudgy pig Funko Pop. That yeah. is great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one, yeah. Man. One of another one of my favorites on my wish list is either one or the whole Ooh. team of SPD, but in their SWAT armor. Honestly, that would be so cool because it just looks really cool. If you guys were at Power Morphicon, they had the green Bridges suit with the SWAT armor, and it just looks really awesome. I think, for me, it's because, yeah, Power Rangers are cool. Like, I even, even with Power Ranger cosplayers, yeah, that's awesome. But I think going the extra step, adding that extra armor and adding that those extra pieces just makes it more... Oh, like yeah. appealing to me oh, personally, yeah. but yeah. Eh, that's just me. What's your next one? My next one is oh well, hold on, we got a super chat first. Um, Toku Kid says make Hyperforce Team PMC 2020 exclusive. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm gonna <laughs> say about that, Toku. Here it is. If you, if they are not willing to make a Hyperforce season two, what makes you think they're, they're gonna, gonna be willing to throw down money on on, on, a to- on a toy? That's true. I don't want to put a return on something that I'm not sure people are actually gonna do. Yes, yes. Especially as a company like that, and say I'm gonna go ahead and make about 500 of them. Yeah. Each. You know, think about that. Yeah. I'm making 500 of each one of them. But it's a good wish list. It, they, the suits look That's cool. a good wish list. Yeah. But unfortunately, I don't know if that would actually yeah. come through. Uh, what's um, your next one? And my next one, well, 
Um, this character, because, uh, you know, the wigs and everything like that. When it comes to Power Rangers, there are characters that a lot of people, for instance, like, uh, there's a, there's a Power Ranger commentator, and uh, his name is George Jr. This dude is hilarious to me. I love it. But he says it all the time. There are such things in Power Rangers called gay icons. Now, a gay icon is something like, like Beyonce, Britney Spears, Cher, like these women that people, like gay people gravitate to. And they're just like, yes, yes, queen, give yes. me all this. You have the life, yes. You're giving me life, whatever they say. Um, so this one would be another gay icon, only because of the wigs, the changing of hair, blah, 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 yada. And that's going to be Astronomer. Yeah. I think Astronema should definitely be a toy. I would love to see it. Changing wigs Changing would be the awesome. Head. Not the wigs, the whole head, because remember she had the little the thing on when yeah. she had the red, oh, yeah, the, yeah, the red yeah. hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be so then cool. You pop that head off, then you put the other one on with the with the purple, blah, 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 yada, yada. It would just be really dope. But then her whole outfit does change when she changes. Could we also still, get, could we also, dope. I mean, we could get Astronema twice. We could get, uh... Astronomer as Astronomer, and we could also get uh, Corone oh. as Lost Galaxy Pink, and then all you have to do is change the head to Kendrick's, and then there you go. Oh my god! Yeah, right? Look at awesome. this. Look, hey awesome. Hasbro, you're welcome. Come on. Huh? You're welcome. Come on. We're it's like killing two birds right with one stone, buddy. We are helping two you birds. Guys with... Wouldn't that be cool if they? Had... Oh no, he didn't morph into red. Uh... Uh, she... Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm just saying. You tell me it's true when it comes to like the gay icon thing. Rita, Rita's mom, also in the comic, she's flowing through. It was like Beyonce coming through. It was yeah, scary yeah. to me. I can't so... actually. I'm, I can't. Uh, if you guys know in the chat, when does Goldar come out? Because I'm gonna actually be going no. into yeah. GameStop. Because I never go into GameStop. Because nope. I fucking hate GameStop. No, nope. nope, I don't. I don't. <laughs> GameStop. I will try to go anywhere else to get my games. I, I literally, uh, I've been buying my games straight from home. Like seriously, I'm, yeah, right. Like, like, yeah, I was like, I, oh, I'll, I want download, game just... I'll download. I just got a, another hard drive, so I, can, I don't care anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, don't I probably house. need a bigger hard drive, yeah, but whatever. Right? No, I'll do, I'll do the game. I deleted Red Dead. I didn't like oh, that game. Oh, see, yeah. there you go. Uh, what's next? <laughs> oh, did did you go or did I? Go? Uh, yeah, I just went with a Okay, myself. okay. Yeah. What else do? I... Oh, all right. This one's gonna be cool. Korag. I saw one of you said that in the Korag would be so awesome. Just this, the little sword and shield attachment would be great. Come on, if you could man. make that functional, that'd be cool. If you could... Back in the day... Um, let me go back to the screen. Back in the day, they had this thing on plastic. They had it on Pogs, too, where... Oh, if, what's that? Lord coming out on the 25th. Oh, that's so like far. Oh, my God. All right. So they had this thing on toys where if... They have it on steering wheels, too. It's some kind of plastic where if you use body heat... Uh -huh. And you touch the plastic, you could change the color. Change the color, yeah, yeah. Imagine a Korag where it's Korag in purple, and then if you, you like, or maybe put it in water. I've seen yeah, toys yeah, like that. Always, put yeah. in water, or put it, make it cold, and you could make him like the red, the red Korag. That'd be Yo. great. There's so many cool things you could do with it. I'm Yo, so excited. I'm like, so excited. See, this is great because you're going back to what they've done before with toys yeah. that they've just forgotten that they do. Yeah. And it's like, look, let's do it again. What? Why did we stop? Trust me, people will love this kind of stuff. I love multiple. I love a toy that can be multiple things. Yeah, that's always dope to me. They, I mean, they literally put that type of plastic on back in the day. On I think Burger King had a fantastic, 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 fantastic Four had a cartoon yep. back in the day, mm -hmm. and they had toys from Burger King. And there's an invisible woman that if you keep it in ice or put it in ice water, it makes her. You Is can see. You can see her suit. And then oh, it, oh, one, okay. once it dries up, then it, she gets transparent. Uh, transparent plastic. That's something you could do. I mean, if they're doing that on freaking Burger King, you can do that. You guys can do There's that. There's got to be. There's got to be a way. That'd oh, be really man. cool. Uh, uh, I'll I'd do another one. It. Another one I'd say is a uh, Triassic Ranger. I don't Ooh. know if you guys remember Dino Thunder. Dino Thunder? I always get confused. Hey, Dino, it, Dino Charge? Charge Dino, Dunder, Dino Thunder. Uh -huh. If you remember Dino Thunder, the blue... The red and the yellow ranger combined their powers and became the Triassic, Triassic ranger. ranger. I think that would be cool. That'd be awesome. But that's just me, like having Man. the having the shield and everything. What's your next one, Daniel? Oh, my next one is gonna be. Everyone knows I have a favorite when it comes to the evil side, and um, mine definitely is going to be one that's great. Um, it's it's a mad scientist, guys. It's the one, the only Finster. Finster. Come on, guys. And to make L happy. We'll have him include a little pigeon rat. Where <laughs> remember on the Simpsons where they had uh, the pigeon rat where Bart sewed the pigeon to a rat and it tried to like fly out the window. Uh. Like, we have a joke on Retro where we say because Finster, you know, Finster killed his wife. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like, and he's just that dangerous. Like, he's just like, and it was always like 
squatting Babu. Oh, don't don't get him upset. Why? Oh, he'll sew us together like the pigeon he has in his room. <laughs> you know, like so. Just give him a little toy or whatever. Just do you guys some miss Vince on, on Ranger? Oh on Ranger. my God, I miss him so much, man. You, but he's there right now on Zio. He's uh, in the Winnebago with them as they're doing their whole Walter White thing across the moon. Oh, trying okay, to yeah, take yeah. over the machine empire. That, that's weird. <laughs> it, that was, weird. it was, it was. I think that's waiting. all filmed in like a, in a, in a what do you call it, those it, things? It's, a, it's an old school soundstage. And yeah. it's just like, oh, it's so weird. That's it, a lot of money was, to do that, man. It was, though, man. But money. I was like, hey, they, they cared. They loved, enough, they loved it enough to actually bring them on because we know we, we that, wanted them to That would be man. cool. That so, would be cool. So, a fencer, but give them little clay uh, figures of classic monsters that he's made. Mm-hmm. Uh, just on the side. Yeah. That would be it. Yeah, that would be, be dope. Really cool. A good fencer. Uh, my last one would be the Phantom Ranger. Honestly, why, why are we questioning? He looks, he looks dope. He looks. Cool. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, we all know uh, Joe is the, the Phantom Ranger, and uh, we just think it's time to give him a toy. Yeah. And yeah. you guys why will swap his head out and put Joe's head on, yeah. or um, who I really think should have. The I kind of want to borrow the suit. Should. Yeah, I think you should, dude. Like, he's not doing anything He's not doing it. anything with it, man. I don't man. wear the suit. He sits there and looks at it like, those were the days. You know, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, whatever he thinks, I don't know. But I'm thinking you should go ahead and yeah, I'm gonna borrow. The, I'm going to ask him. I was like, hey, man, can I just borrow the suit? Yeah, come on. I went ahead. Let me just borrow the yeah, suit. Yeah, just go ahead and borrow the suit, and yeah. uh, we'll shoot something. It'll be great. Yeah. Uh, moving on to our last bit of news, We're, uh, we had the, the article that came out on Friday about ah, yes. uh, Dino Thunder not making their way back to... Uh, <sighs> Um, the mashup or the the team up episode, oh. and then people are complaining. It's like, what's the point? People are going live. Yeah, right now. What's uh, the point of even <laughs> making a freaking team up if you're not gonna have all the Rangers show up? All right, Wait, so, calm down. So calm down. It sounds to me like you don't agree with them. I don't. Honestly, I'm just happy that I'm I'm happy that we're getting something something different. That's it. I'm not. I'm like. I'm not happy about it. Like, oh, that's no. damn that they couldn't make it happen. But there are many, many, many things that happen behind the scenes that make it so it's harder for you to acquire some of these actors. It's called labor laws. It's called <laughs> money. And then I, I was having a conversation with someone who says, "Oh, he doesn't even know who I am." But I've seen him in the show so many times. Uh, hey, shut up. <laughs> so, hey, you know what? Honestly, I think that's what we should do. Let's but, start no, a petition. We should. Everybody else is starting a petition. Because they're entitled and they're whining about everything. Wah. Let's have a petition about changing rules. I want a petition about Robbie Bitch. So since everyone's whining Wah. and crying, why don't we make a fake, like just let's a do crappy uh, Get started BS, right now. a crappy BS petition, and we'll say like, oh, let's change. Uh, what are we going to work What is the petition side? What's the petition side? Yeah, what is the petition side? Change the what? Uh, ch- change the what? CJ. Oh, you, you put change CJ. That you said CJ. Yeah. Like, what? Okay, so change.org. Yeah. Someone, if you have the time. I have nipples, it. Greg. You want to melt me? But we'll make, it, we're, we'll make it really facetious where you're like, I sit at home in my basement and I would like to see this change. Yeah. Only because I think that I don't understand how labor laws work or even money. I don't even know what money is used for. Yeah. But what I would like is for someone to be like, we'll write a whole thing. I, <laughs> I spent 26 years buying uh, Power Ranger toys and you need to listen to my opinion because uh, my opinion is valid. Somebody said that, though. Somebody did that. I spent 26 years buying this See, stuff. 26 years. I saying. deserve to be listened to, Hasbro. I no, need and, you to get these people, no matter what. You have billions and billions of dollars. Please spend it on this one episode. It sounds like baby Trump. That's what it sounds like. It's a, <laughs> what I want is this in a... It, it, it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Just do it. It's huge. <laughs> like, I just want... Oh, we're going to get a wall. We're going to love it. It's going to be huge. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> oh. I'm just, okay, I'm going to, I just find it's like, <laughs> go ahead, oh. find it, why you find, find it, I'm super chat, so the Green Arrow says, uh, Dimensions in Danger was a great original team up, mm-hmm. and I do agree with you, it was a great original team up, it was, yes, there are things that we think that they should have given us more of, and that's very true, and unfortunately when it comes to stuff that people do make, when it comes to them shooting it, writing it, directing it, all of these things, after it's done, there will always be moments where you're like, hey, 
you could have done this better. You could have done this better. So I do agree with Ranger fans being proactive. Yeah. And saying something ahead of time. Hopefully they'll listen and they'll make their changes. That's fine. This but, thing has already been filmed. It's done. Yeah. It's over with. You're getting what you're getting. Stop complaining. Sorry. It's over. Sorry. It's over. You're just finding out the news now about what's already been done. So you can't do anything about it. You had your time before, and I hope you did say it then. Hopefully they listened to some of us, and they made some changes. But for everyone else, it's already been done. Just shut up. Just shut up. There's nothing you can do There's about no, it. It's done. It's over. It's just like... God, uh, really? I don't want to watch uh, it. Then don't watch it. No one's like taking your head and opening up your eyeballs and making you watch it. It's in bird box. It's in bird box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no, it's not happening. This dude. isn't Guantanamo Bay. We're not like torturing you watching this, watching this special, like, you know, team up episode. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, this person is like, oh, I've been watching for 26 years, da da da. And then I was like, you know what? Just watch watch our show. It's like, I don't even watch you. I don't even know who you are. Mm. Yeah, you do, Daniel. Know. You, we know Daniel Romano. You're in the chat all the time. You follow him on Instagram. Don't don't, don't try lie. to play it off. Don't lie. Stop. Yeah, 26, no, 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 26 no, no. years. We're you gonna, know. We're gonna be honest about it. We called you out by name, and we're gonna call you out by name again. Make sure you guys know exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about you, Daniel Romano. All right. That's what we're talking about. Because you're gonna over here. You're running your mouth and blah like Joe says. The masses of the unexceptional. Yeah, you're exactly what, that is. what that is. You're exactly what that is. I'm sorry. Listen I apologize. No, well, I'm you can apologize, but listen to me, Amook. I need you <laughs> to pay attention and understand that it's already been done. It's done. It's great it's done. that you are voicing your opinion. Yeah. You definitely should. Yeah. Tell us what you are unhappy about, but don't do it with your sense of entitlement. That's what you need to go ahead and kind of curb. Pull uh, to that, the I side, mean, man. And that's a trend now. The trend that's of all, the these, all these like petitions. Petition to rewrite Game of Thrones. Oh. Petition, petition to get rid of the new Batman. Petition to... All right, listen. Like I know that it happened for Sonic, but I felt... Well, I'll talk, we'll talk about in the future for box office. That's all. That was all a ploy, I think. That was all a ploy. Yeah. And like, yeah. I know you guys feel like you have you're entitled to a certain thing because you're a fan. But the company overall has to do what's best for the company. Yeah. It, we may not be happy with the choices that they make. No. Or we're. It's not. They're not going to get everything right. But I mean, come on. It's it's still. Something yeah. they're trying. They're still trying to give you something. I mean, like uh, he would like to buy the black book. Yeah, there's more. There's, well, there's more. more. Just, there's you more. be patient there. Yeah, you wait. You wait. Um, but yeah, it's uh, my whole take on the thing is I'm glad. I'm honestly just excited to see Austin Saint Austin Saint John back. Oh man, yeah, that is huge. Yeah. <laughs> Tuck was right. 15 G's starting price. That's what he says. Green Arrow. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it it is what it is. It's. It's done. It's filmed. They're probably editing it right now. They just wrapped on season two of Beast Morphers. Everything's done. There's nothing yeah. else we can do about it. It's yeah. going to come out. Whether or not you want to watch it, that's you. That's all on you. Hey. Uh, well, I know people are going to complain about it, but honestly, every year, every year since, what, Dino Charge or even before that, even with Mega, after Mega Force, uh, we want to team up. We want to team up. You guys complaining here and left and left and right, mm -hmm. and we we're finally getting something, some semblance of of a team, up, some semblance of Hasbro or or you know listening to you, yeah. listening to the fans yeah. in a way. They're making an effort. They're making an effort. Just chill out, relax. Yeah, Ro Robert Pattinson might be the greatest Batman we've ever seen in our lives. The greatest detective Batman, the greatest, like, who knows? Who knows? I mean, it depends a great on what's Bruce written. Wayne. It depends on what's written. It depends on what the director's really trying to do. It depends on all of these things. And that's exactly what you have to think about when it comes to Power Rangers as well. Also, when it comes to Power Rangers, you have to think about who was available. Yeah. What their quote or asking price was. Yes. And what the budget was as well. Exactly. We have to be able to fit all of this. Because not only do we have to make sure that we take care of the actors... But we also have to take care of everyone else that's still on set. We have to take care of our set design. We have to the also grip take people, all the, the lighting, people, all, like everything, even all the way down to crafty. The people that have to feed the people. Yeah, we have to make sure that permits. The the yes. There's so many. Listen, there's so many things beyond your the mind, the scope of what you see. There's so many things going on in production, in like behind the scenes, the writing, the writing team, uh, film, like just. Putting this all together mm -hmm. is more than just like, oh, I want this ranger. I want this ranger. This ranger better be on there. No. You got to have, honestly, 
Austin, for, first, Austin St. John has not been in the series for a long time. He probably is asking prices a little, you know, might be. I, honestly, and well I don't care it. if anyone says anything about it. I, I feel he deserves yes, to be able yes. to ask for a large asking so price. It's, He's held out for so long. It's like one day when Amy Jo Johnson comes back and she's like, I want to be the first one to get 10000 or whatever for an episode. Totally well, fine. Well, I'm totally fine with it. Here we go. Here's your check. You Have a great day. Fence, so. Just you said one word. I don't care. Here yeah. you go. Like, so it, this is this is big. just how this is how the world works. You live in LA. You work in in the yep. industry. You know you you understand why. Exactly. You understand it why was, it happened. It's just uh, that's the way it works. That's how everything works. If you guys would like to look up certain things, like uh, I know I was having a conversation with someone on Twitter about uh, uh, someone on Twitter about oh well if if Marvel can you know have this big mashup. First off, Disney. <laughs> is close to 150 150 billion dollars network. Yep. Hasbro like 5 billion. And that's 5 billion for all of Hasbro. That's not no. 5 billion for one episode of Power Rangers. No. Perspective everybody, perspective. <laughs> right? You you know, you know it's it's I know it's proportional but you can't expect them to create this Hollywood movie mm-hmm. out of out of thin Hollywood like movie and put it on TV and just expect, you know, mediocre ratings. It's you got to make sure if you're investing money into something like this that yep. there's going to be you're going to get and, something back. And this is the thing people don't understand but uh, Amanda's kind of pointing it out too. Um, there are problems and I see super chat. Mm-hmm. Um Let's read Super Chat and then I'll yeah. sing. Um, uh, oh, this is another thing that's going on with some Ranger. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't do that yet then. Hold on. Let me say this part real quick. Okay. Um, so when it comes to it, when it comes to Rangers, uh, the writing is different than how it is on other shows. Usually the writers sit down. They already write everything. They have it plotted out and then they uh, go ahead and put it out. Okay. And then they say, all right, let's go out and find, uh, let's cast this, blah, blah, yeah. For Rangers, it's the other way around. They have to say, this is what we would like or this is an idea of what we have. We haven't written a script. We have an idea. Let's see what we can do for casting. Yeah. Once they find out who they have, now they have to go back and they have to hurry and write it. Mm -hmm. Because once they go ahead and say, okay, usually they've already got everything set. Because they have the stock footage. The stock footage there, you are are (coughs) like literally like handcuffed because you have to make your story fit the stock footage. Yep. So, and And then if someone says no... And what are you like, gonna do? What do we do? What are you gonna now do? we have to rewrite this. We have to rewrite this, which means now we have to rewrite everything. Mm-hmm. So it comes a piece like, okay, this is what we want to do. Do you think you can write something for this? Yes. Okay. So this is stock footage. This is what we think we can write. Let's see if we can get these people. Uh, hey, can we get you? Yes. You can get you. Yes. We can get you. Yes. We can get you. No. Shoot. Okay. Can we rewrite and kind of write around it and yeah, kind of we'll, cut? We'll, we'll okay, probably we just have that. his voice, a voice Ooh. actor come yes. in and do that so voice. So they'll try it that yeah. way. They have so many things they have to deal with. There's so many moving kind of parts. Yes. So take that into consideration. And with that, head to that Super Chat. Super Chat Toku <laughs> Kids said, uh, hashtag Napier or nothing is disrespect, is disrespect to returning actors. It is. There are Ranger fandoms, are Ranger groups out there that are using this. It's like, first off, you've been in the fandom for how long you understand how these certain things work. Like, yes, we could not get Napier. We could not get the Red Dino Thunder Ranger. I and I understand your 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 uh, why you're mad about why you guys are mad about it. But it doesn't d- don't let it discount the fact that we're getting something. We're getting Rangers back. We're getting like Brennan. Mm-hmm. We're getting all these Rangers come back. It's it's if it's discouraging to them, especially a lot of the, these Rangers are active in social media to see that as like. Well, Dude, he's like, oh, me. I'm coming back. I'm I'm taking time out of my schedule. I'm taking time at at you know being a firefighter or you know protect uh, fighting in the in the Middle East, just for you to not to just like discount everything that I'm trying to do for the fandom. Well, thank you for that, and go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's just yeah. like, come on, that is messed up. Like uh, Layla saying it right there. I need a shirt that says Ranger Nation, the spoiled brat nation. Oh, and it's true because the thing is, like you nope. said, it is disrespectful. It's disrespectful, it's disrespectful Dude, to them. If I'm here and I have been off the show, I don't care for even a year and i am doing other things and then after that you're like hey, hey man let's right. bring you back it's like all right let me stop oh, yeah. what i'm doing like, one i'm possibly uh, hitting a con circuit and there are things that i'm looking to hit and i know i'm gonna do really well at this con i'm gonna be able to pump my name up at this con as well mm-hmm. oh i'm not gonna do it because i want to do something for the fandom that has made me who i am yes so let me come back to this show and my asking price, they probably aren't going to meet it also. That's something you have to think about, too. Sometimes these Rangers are taking hits to come back and do something for us. Yes. And for us to not show our appreciation and just say, well, Napier or nothing, it's kind of like, 
What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? You, All got, right, you, cool you, you guys promised me. I'm right, I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right. right here for you guys. Like, oh, yeah. Thanks. That's great. Thanks. Oh, hey, Brennan. Thanks. Move out the way. So... Uh, we're just looking here for Napier, and that's all we want. Like, dude, that's so, and you know? the Ranger fandom is so disrespectful, like that, <laughs> or like, fa- like Ranger, fa- uh, Rangers that get booked for these shows. That they have, there's tons of guests at these shows already, but um, that the con will bring them in, and they're expecting to make. You know, they're this is their job. Yes, this is their job, and you guys come in there and you go up to the table. Um, I didn't really like your season. Oh, what did you think about this episode? Why were you? Why? Why did you do this in this episode? And then you, you're talking. You're wasting. You know, there's people behind you. Right. You're wasting their time. Right. And then what do you do? You walk away. Don't buy anything. You didn't buy Don't anything? won't you buy a print. You didn't you, like you just you're just talking. And you know, it, they're taking the time out of their day and not even like help them out. It's like this is their job. They're here. This is the sometimes is the only money that they're making because they're brought in super cheap. They don't get an appearance fee or anything. They're yeah. there to try to reach out or meet the fans. And then when fans don't, you know, don't appreciate it. You know, don't celebrate re- reciprocate the, victories, the, like the, the 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 kindness that they're doing by taking the time out of their work schedule and their regular jobs to meet with the fans, and you just go there, shit on them, walk away. Then what's the point of even doing those these shows? That's why a lot of Rangers don't like doing shows because yep. you don't make anything out of it because no. fans are just the way fans are. And and well, I, entitled is a word that we've been throwing around a lot uh, uh, this episode. But yeah, I think it's it's true. That's what it is. So you know what? I, I, feel, I feel bad for them mainly because, you know, we know a lot of them and we know their struggles and we know what, they're, what they go through post Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. You know, sure. as actors. Actors in general have a really hard life. So they every do. time, every time you book something, every time you get something, it's like the greatest thing in the world. No it's matter, huge. no matter what it is. It's huge. So if you see these rangers at your at your local cons and you and you take the time to say hello, throw them twenty dollars to get like a signed print or a picture. I mean, it's, if you appreciate yeah. them and you can't afford to do it, do it. Yeah, just I mean, even just say thank you for thank you for coming out. That's, yeah, Don't that shit on helps. them. That like, really does help. Yeah. Like honestly, you just walk up to them and you be like, "Hey, I can't afford to buy anything. I just want to say thank you for what you've done." Yeah, and then walk away. That ranger, trust me, there are a lot of rangers that are like, "Hey, come here, come here." Let's take a picture real quick. Yeah. And they'll take a picture with yeah. you just because it was like, "Yo, use the time out of your day to stop just to tell me thank you." Mm-hmm. Why would I not want to do something exactly. for you? And we had that. We were you. I don't know if you're in the room. We had that talk with Nico and and Caleb, where someone came up to them at a con and said, "Hey, you're like one of the worst ra- yellow rangers of this." Like, where do you get off? <laughs> Seriously, where do you get off? The fans sometimes really, really piss me off. Who where do you even you? get off? <laughs> that is so disrespectful. That's like saying, like, honestly, they are bound to not do anything because they're a guest at a con, but if that was someone coming up to me and disrespecting me like that, clap! Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> He's like, dude, where and do you actually, get off? It's like, dude. Uh, flash, flash, yes, we do know how long the team-up will be, but we're not telling you. Yeah. Joe was kind of upset last time with everyone just kind of shitting on us, yeah. and what he did, Joe said it, and it's yeah. a phrase that we started to use, I closed the black book. So when he closes the black book, we're not going to be able to open it up and say, <gasps> hey guys, this is what's going on. We'll open it. We'll read it. Yep. We won't say anything on air. So that's something that probably needs to change. That's that toxicity yeah. that we talk about. Yeah. I feel, honestly, when it comes to toxicity in Rangers, uh, it started way back when uh, Blake Foster, a kid, showed up as a Ranger and people were talking shit to a kid. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I hate you. Problem. You're the you worst Ranger ever. I didn't I'm just a kid. You're a kid. <laughs> It's a kid. It's a You're kid, a man. You're a man telling me that you hate me. What's yeah. going on here? Like, I think that's what yeah, really Black Wing, for me. Yeah, Black Wing, that did happen to Nico. Obviously, you don't watch uh, our Morphin Mondays, so go well, ahead and hit, go watch that Nico and Caleb <laughs> interview uh, on Morphin Mondays. Yeah, check back with it. No, honestly, check back with it in Black Wing. <laughs> <laughs> check I'm with it Black Wing. Definitely go check it out, man. You'll see it, and yeah, Nico says it right there. Like, it's one of the worst things It is, ever. like, honestly, I've, I've been talking to Caleb about some things that some of the, like... I've been reading some of the tweets that he get that he got while he's on the show. I was like, "You guys are assholes, right? You guys what? are straight up assholes." It's like this guy is so stupid. Why is he even on the show? He's got me stupid. It's like, dude, he's reading a script. He's acting. <laughs> Calm down. Get out of your little tunnel vision that you have for the Power Rangers and look at the world. Ooh. How the world is 
Join the real world. Get out of your freaking oh basement. Oh, my God. It is just so unfair. It's it is so, unfair. so bad. It's so it, bad seeing it's someone. It's like bad. one of the reasons now, like, when I do see a ranger, I'm just like, hey, man, you, you did great. Thank yeah, you. good job, bro. Thank you. You know, hey, you did something that I'm not doing. Apparently, I wasn't good enough to do it. So, <laughs> Brenda, you are, I wouldn't mess. You. I wouldn't mess with Jezzer. He's like an attack dog with his strike, strike like one punch. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'll be a strike with my kick. It'll be like <laughs> Spartan. Strike like one punch. No, he's like one punch man. Yeah. You're like, ah, oh, pow. That's it. They're down. That's no, it. I just, I just want the fandom to like understand outside of outside of you know their minds that well, yeah, you know, it's your little are, bubble and you guys don't understand get out of your bubble. Real world. just get out of your bubble these people are people these are they're people first rangers and actors second yeah. they're people and then for you guys to be disrespecting listen they do not have millions and millions of of followers or see millions and millions of tweets to the point where it just get like some of these comments just get flooded no there's thousands maybe hundreds yeah. and they thousands see they see thousands. these they see these comments and they're like little daggers to the heart when you guys are just like mm-hmm. you know disrespecting them like that it's like they're trying to bring keep your childhood alive they're trying to keep this franchise that you love alive and you guys keep shitting them shitting on them with with hashtags like that it's like Come on, you guys. That's come on. Yeah, just come on. Take some time. Join, join the re- join the real world. That's it. Join the real world and just be a real person. I wonder. Come on, they, Pinocchio. Are, are be they, a real boy. Are they are they this toxic with all the other fandoms that they're? There's part a. Of? I mean, there's a few. There's no, no, like all that they're part of. Like oh, I don't know. That they're not toxic I don't, I, like, I, the like after. Are they like? Oh, I'm a Marvel fan too. Yeah. I'm a DC fan. I'm a um. I'm a I'm a freaking Lego universe fan. Yeah. Like, are, do they also write them? I hated when you did this. You are horrible people. Like, that is know? not how you make that Lego sculpture. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? The I'm sculpt sorry, was off on I Batman, don't, Lego I'm, Batman. Yeah, I don't know I what have that a, is. I just wrote a think piece on you. Know, shut up. Uh, we got another <laughs> super chat from the Green Arrow. It says, you guys are awesome. This is why I super chat. Thank we you appreciate it, so man. much. We Thank you do. so much. I th- actually think that that is all we got yes, for today. If, yes. if I were to keep going, it's going to go on forever. Mm-hmm. But you guys, thank you so much for joining us on your Saturday. Uh, like I say, you could be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with us. And we appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> uh, we got a special uh, Hitch and Hangout episode coming up. And then we have the box office showdown with Tony and Magdalia. They're going to be talking Woo! about... Uh, box office showdown. They're talking about the Mortal Kombat movie. Oh! They're gonna be talking about um, what's what's the other thing? Uh, the Hulu uh, Disney thing that's going on. Oh yeah, here. this is huge. Yeah, and they're also gonna be talking about uh, petitions and outrages. So that's oh. gonna be fun because oh. honestly, it's taking a spike. And we also have the last show of the night is Superhero News Network, where they're gonna be talking about the new CW Batwoman trailer, the new news that CW is not gonna continue their part. Partnership with Netflix. To nope. The end. Um, Robert Pattinson possibly playing Batman. So, you guys, thank you so much for joining. P, uh, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture. Peace out, baby!